four regions vote to join Russia, what's next? The accession processes for Donbas and two regions of southern Ukraine to Russia will involve several steps. The Donetsk and Lugansk People's Republics, LPR and DPR, along with Kherson region and part of Zaporozhye region in southern Ukraine, have voted to join Russia in referendums that were held between September 23 and 27. In Lugansk, over 98% of voters supported joining Russia, official figures show. Donetsk recorded similar results with more than 99% of voters supporting the proposal. Both Zaporozhye and Kherson regions had processed all ballots by late Tuesday, where respectively 93% and 87% of voters backed leaving Ukraine and unifying with Russia. The process of integrating new regions into the Russian Federation may take some time as it requires the approval of the country's parliament and the president. But Kremlin spokesperson Dmitry Peskov said on Friday that he was convinced it will be fast enough. The Russian constitution and federal law on the accession of new constituent members defines several necessary steps. Senator Konstantin Kosachev, vice speaker of the upper house of parliament, explained in a telegram post that once the regions willing to become part of the Russian Federation submit their proposals to Moscow, the president informs parliament and the government on the matter. If political agreement on the accession is reached, draft international treaties on the admission of foreign states or parts of them to Russia should be developed, Kosachev said. These agreements regulate issues such as the name and status of new territories, citizenship, succession, the functioning of public authorities and legislation. After these treaties are signed, the Russian Constitutional Court assesses them for any potential legal violations. If the treaties are verified the next step is the ratification of the documents by the lower house, the State Duma, and their approval by the upper house, the Federation Council. Simultaneously, a draft federal constitutional law on the admission of new constituent units to Russia should be submitted to the Duma. If approved, it then goes to the upper house for consideration. This law enters into force no earlier than the entry into force of the international treaties themselves, Kosachev noted. Moscow has warned that if the Donbas republics and the two southern Ukrainian regions united with Russia, it would consider any attempts by Kiev to retake them as a tax on its own land. Immediately the Russian constitution will come into force in relation to these territories, where everything is very clearly stated in this regard, Peskov told journalists last week. Shortly after the regions decided to hold referendums, Russian President Vladimir Putin announced a partial mobilization that involved calling to arms some 300,000 reservists, according to the military. Media reports have suggested that Moscow allegedly plans to mobilize up to a million. Kiev considers the territories to be under illegal occupation and said it would not recognize the results of the referendums. Ukrainian President Vladimir Zelensky has ruled out any possibility of talks after the voting. Ukrainian Foreign Minister Dmitry Kuliba stated last Tuesday that Ukraine has every right to liberate its territories and will keep liberating them, whatever Russia has to say. The EU and the US have already called the referendums of sham. US Secretary of State Antony Blinken told CBS on Sunday that the LPR, DPR, Kherson, and Zaporozhye regions will never be recognized as part of the Russian Federation. He added that Kiev had every right to take them back.